Hi, and welcome to day three of Sassy Week 2023. My name's Mike Ferguson, or everyone calls me Fergo, and I'm the Director of Security Transformation here at Netscope. And I've actually been at the company for close to six years now, and that means I've seen the evolution of this company and the technology from a single CASB tool to this single platform that is able to provide all those controls and connectivity for any application, any device. And because of that transformation, I think it's really important that we all try to increase our understanding of this, the changes in this industry. And that's why I want to talk to you today about something that I've been building for a while and has recently gone live. That is the SASE accreditation, because it's important that we all try to level up our understanding of the changes of this industry and why this has occurred. So this is really a, a true accreditation. It's not Netscope specific in its industry. Um, you know, it's really a, a agnostic capability and it's gonna provide you with this practical path to give you a stronger understanding of SASE and what it really is. So as an introduction to the SASE accreditation or more specifically, the on-demand SASE accreditation, I mean, we've actually had a SASE accreditation for about two years now. And what we've found is that during that time, the industry really has matured and we know exactly what a secure access service edge should be delivering. And it's no longer just looking at the legacy or the, the legacy technologies and the convergence of those technologies into a single platform, but now as a single architecture in its own right that delivers strong outcomes for organizations. So this accreditation needs to take on this new understanding. And what we also need is to scale this at a level to a level that allows anyone to gain this in, these insights. That means not having a classroom type accreditation that is waiting on a tutor or teacher to be available with enough space in the classroom, but instead have an online on demand, go at your own pace type of accreditation. So that's really what we've tried to do, but still maintain the strong structural uh, components of a traditional accreditation. So it's for network security professionals, and I'm going to talk you through the components and the benefits of this for you. So firstly, the benefits of completing the SASE accreditation well, of course, you're going to gain expert insights and knowledge in this new area of cybersecurity of Secure Access Service Edge. And what we've been really good at doing is pulling in experts in the different areas. Like um, we have Joe Scarupo, who is an ex-analyst. We have people that have been uh, have a really strong understanding of GDPR for data protection. So we pulled in these different experts to give you that knowledge. And when you complete this, you'll get two certificates, one for completion, one for the accreditation, you get LinkedIn badges, but perhaps some better, better than anything, you'll get those four CPE credits to show that you've gone through a complete accreditation. So really powerful, lots of great benefits for you um, that I think are, are definitely worthwhile looking at. So the objectives of the accreditation are to introduce attendees to the basic technology and architectural concepts of Secure Access Service Edge, that means like, what is it? Where's it come from? Why is it? Um, how is it deployed and how is it used? And what am I gonna get out of SASE? It's gonna provide key insights into, for practitioners that work in that space. Um, so how do I apply it to my industry, to my job, to my work? And what am I hoping to get out of it that's gonna benefit my position? So how does it improve my security, my networking, my access, et cetera, et cetera? How is this tool gonna to assist me in providing that visibility? And what should I be looking out for? when I come to assess these tools in the future. Um, and then it's gonna focus on important uh, component technologies. So like, what is SD-WAN? Where does that come from? What is security service edge? And what should that be delivering? And then all together, the encompassing zero trust security or zero trust security principles that you should be getting out of this. So that's really helpful. And then it's gonna give you some hands-on experience. So we've got case studies, examples, and also some labs that are gonna give you an understanding of how SASE can be implemented in a real world environment as well. So the main components of the accreditation are there's 14 different modules. That's an overview of the 
um, the, the understanding of where SASE has come from, the purpose and origin of a secure access service edge. It's going to have some understanding of the architectural components, the outcomes, as well as those two main components, SD-WAN and SSE. And inside of those areas, you'll have modules specifically on the outcomes of those two comp main components. You'll find video explanations from those industry experts. You'll have quizzes to test yourself on what you've learned, as well as providing you some hands-on labs. So you'll actually get your hands dirty and get the tangible feel of what those labs are providing. And then at the end, you get a 30 question final exam that's going to help you really get, um, you know, and I a firm belief that you understand what this change to the industry is and what this architectural capability should be providing. So the 14 key modules are SASE, Purpose and Origin. This is delivered by Joe Scarupa, ex analyst. He was actually the person that um, came up, well, you know, co founded the name. Uh, secure access service edge because he recognized that there was a change in the way that the um, the businesses were looking at security and connectivity and needing to change the way that they delivered this. Then there was the, uh, there's a module on the high level SASE architecture where we compile a, all the different components that go into SASE and what they are delivering for you and then how we can connect the, all the different dots to make sure that we've got that um, that complete uh, that complete architecture. We have a module on zero trust and zero trust security principles, what zero trust is, what it's not, and why SASE might be the best mechanism, best tool to deliver those principles for your organization. Then we have two main components in the SD-WAN and SSE. And within uh, SD-WAN, we'll give you an introduction. They'll talk to you about the evolution of the enterprise WAN networks. We'll talk about SD-WAN fundamentals, so what it should be delivering fundamentally, and then a whole module on the next generation, the future, where it's going to go when we think about a borderless enterprise. Security Service Edge sections will give you an overview of Security Service Edge, all the legacy technologies that have come, you know, come to be part of SSE, and then we'll have some modules on the outcomes it's delivering, things like visibility and control of cloud and web usage, modernizing remote access for all of those remote workers as we continue to work in a hybrid mode, then detecting and mitigating threats and risky activity. And then one of the key modules I think is identifying and protecting sensitive information, that core business value asset, the one single consistent is the sensitive data in a sea of all this change. And then we'll talk about SASE and its dynamics, positioned within the IT organization and how to navigate those dynamics. And then finally, you will have an exam. I think it's really important to, to have the labs. We've mentioned that you've got these hands-on labs available in the accreditation, and it really gives you that experience of implementing SASE in your, in, in your environment and what it would be delivering, the outcomes that your users would be presented with, then why this is important to your organization and it gives you a better understanding and preparation for that real world scenario so it's not just these theoreticals you really start to understand that so the labs are a requirement you got to complete those labs to complete that sassy accreditation which i think is really valuable so we know what goes into the accreditation now it's who should be attending well firstly of course anyone that's working in all aspects of cybersecurity it's a big change to the industry. So why wouldn't you want to be a part of it? Uh, so if you're in policy, operations, engineering, auditing, management, getting a strong grasp of security, a secure access service edge is going to be really important. And then, of course, anyone that's in a related or adjacent field, so administration or engineering, even C-level execs, it's going to be valuable. Software development, knowing this is going to be useful for you as well. And then even like if you're in areas of you know, different verticals like government research academia the procurement people anyone that's got a fundamental needs to have that understanding of how the businesses are changing and that connectivity could find value in this now of course it's a cybersecurity course so there is some understanding some light security or technical background is assumed but there's no coding or administrative experience that is required. Any of the labs are very step-by-step -step and easy to follow. So you wouldn't need any of that technical background, but um, yeah, it will provide you with everything that you need. So it's 
you're all self-contained and go at your own pace. Should be fairly straightforward. So the process of getting started with the SASE accreditation, it's um, three main components. <laughs> it's really simple. There is a site, you fill in your details and you get a link to the accreditation and fill it and you're done. And that should be as straightforward as that. Um, so if you go to this link, netscope.com, SASE accreditation, you'll be presented with these two little options. You've got the live class, which is a classroom with a tutor that will go through it, but you do have to find the availability or go for the on-demand and just register for on-demand. It's a simple button and you will be allowed to go and go through this and go to the on-demand page. Once you get to the on-demand page, you'll be asked to fill in a form, which asks, just asks for some basic details as well as providing you with some and you know, some basic information around what the SASE accreditation is. And once you've filled up that information, like name, address, company, job title, and your email, email is very important, that information does go to Salesforce so that we can follow up, and make sure that you got what you needed out of the accreditation. But more importantly, an email is sent with a voucher to your email with a link to the accreditation site. So once you go to the accreditation site, this is what you'll see, you get a, um, it's a self-contained, it's in the browser. There's no need to install anything. And you go at your own pace. So it is on demand when you're ready. Um, the labs are actually two days to complete the labs. It says two hours, but it's two days, uh, which is great. So you've got a long time to complete those labs. Um, but if you're not doing a lab environment, you can just take your time and come back to it whenever you want. It's not you know, within two days. Um, and each of the stories are step-by-step. -step, so it'll give you all the instructions of click here, go here, open this page, makes it simple. And all of the username and passwords for any of the applications you need are provided in buttons. You just click it and it will fill in all the information you need. So you don't need to remember anything. It's all hidden from you. So you don't need to try and worry about any of this stuff. It's just provided and made real simple for you. So each module will contain like a cover slide. So you go, hey, this is visibility and control of cloud and web usage. Here's a little introduction by a industry expert, uh, which will need to play. If not, click play. And then it goes to the content module, uh, the module content. So this is actually where it will talk about the content and what goes into it. And then finally, at the end of each module, there is a summary. This summary is really useful because this is the information that we've covered in the content slides or content video, but also it's what will be in the exam and the quizzes. So really take a look at those summaries and read up because that could be useful for you in the future. In the tool, you'll see at the top of the page, there's two little buttons, one for presentation, one for console. The presentation button means that there is a presentation. Uh, presentation is usually in video formats. So you can just watch the video, um, but it makes it goes through all the theory and makes it easier for you before you have the hands-on experience. And then finally, if you click on console, um, you get to go into that virtualized environment where you actually be able to get the hands-on lab experience inside there. So presentation and console, they're at the top of the page inside of the site accreditation platform. Uh, before you do any of the labs, you will get a set of instructions. The instructions provide you like what you would be doing, like in this one, creating policies, testing, app optimization and then monitoring it. Really simple, but there's the instructions and it'll tell you what tools you'll be needed to use to do that lab. So access to the admin portal and then the voice over IP traffic simulator. So, and then when you're ready, click on the console page and you can go and do the lab. So really straightforward instructions. And then you get to go and do the story. This is the lab. So in here, you'll see that on the left-hand side, I've got the virtualized Windows environment. And on the right, I've got a little strip that does these step-by-step -step stories. So it's got numbered um, stories. So you go here, click on the cl Cloud Confidence Index page. Perfect. Now go and open the Windows in a new tab or open up Microsoft 365. It provides you all of the steps. You really just follow it. And when you need to log into something, it will provide you with a button. So you can click on the username, yeah, click the button and it will provide the username and password. Just makes it really simple for you to follow a story and see what Netscope can do or an SSC technology can do for you in this particular story. So it makes it real simple and easy to follow. In, at the end of uh, certain modules or a, a, a 
section of modules, it's not part of the modules, you'll get a quiz and it'll say, hey, here's five questions that will help you get see if you've learned what has occurred in those previous modules. And it's really straightforward, um, but they'll tell you, hey, um, some of the questions that you probably in those summaries. And it's after those key modules like Zero Trust Security, SD-WAN and SSE, that you get to have those little quizzes. And then right at the end, you'll have a final exam that you can go through. About 30 questions with a pass rate of 80%. Now, if you don't pass the exam, don't worry. You can just take it again and redo it again. It's really important that you just don't stress, learn from it, go through, read the questions, and just retake it, and you'll be able to pass and get that accreditation. Um, at the end of the course or the accreditation you get, there's two certificates. The first one, when you complete all of the modules, you will get a completion certificate. So complete the certificate, um, complete, yeah, completion certificate saying, hey, you've completed all the different modules, all of the labs, and you're just about to do the exam. Once you do the exam and you complete that exam with a pass rate over 80, then you get your accreditation certificate. So a certificate of completion and certificate of accreditation for you when you finish. Perfect to get those two together. And you'll also get a LinkedIn email as well. So you can post this on LinkedIn and tell your colleagues and say, hey, look, I've just done this wonderful accreditation that shows that I'm learning about the changes and how great SASE is. And that's going to be really valuable for you. Um, so just to add some numbers after the last four weeks to show the value of this and why this might be important. Uh, firstly, the number of people that have done the accreditation um, that have started it, well, we've had 61 Netscopers that have started this, which shows that even you know, different members of the Netscope team are going, this is valuable. I can see that the importance of leveling up my understanding of SASE. But even without a huge launch, we've had 231 different uh, customers, prospects, and partners all go, this is great, and get started on the accreditation. But even better, we've had 17 Netscopers and uh, 76 um, external parties passing the accreditation in four weeks, which shows that this is valuable. People are seeing the value in this and getting to the end, which I think is really, really great. Um, but more importantly, the feedback we're getting from this is providing us with some really great validation on this, because not just because I put lots of effort into this and lots of time, but we're starting to see that people are getting a better understanding of the solutions involved from a security consultant in an IT service provider. The, we're seeing a data security engineer saying that I think that ability is a crucial part of the product evaluation experience at Multinational Banking Institute. Seeing all the different capabilities of what a SASE should provide can be put into their evaluation process. This is um, really important because a lot of people don't realize what SASE is and what SASE should be delivering for their organizations. And it's all different levels. We're seeing here a, a, a VP is saying the content delivery was excellent with great real life examples. Uh, the things they enjoyed with the ease of which it was explained. We're seeing that uh, the, printer, the presenters are knowledgeable about the topics. Um, we're seeing that the labs are giving them great experience to deep dive into the capabilities. And that one, the thing that's important is this was SASE centric and wasn't a sales pitch for Netscope. So this is not about Netscope. This is about um, using our position as leaders in this space to give back to the industry and be, you know, cement our position as thought leaders. And I think this is really important. We're seeing here that this has become a very valuable tool. So go to that link, netscope.com, SASE accreditation, or Google it. <laughs> it should be available online. And get signed up and get registered and hopefully you'll become accredited. So thank you for considering SASE accreditation as the next step towards the success in your career. And I hope you found this valuable. Um, take care. Bye.